Hello, it's Jimmy here. The Oilies have here a Renault traffic uh, that's got check anti-pollution, check injection system errors on it. So we're going to get inside, plug it in and see what's wrong. Okay, so inside we have check anti-pollution system. Let's go across. Right, let, me start, let me just start that again now, actually. We did have check anti-pollution, check injection and a few other ones. Check injection, check anti-pollution. You can see there that the um, temperature gauge is reading correctly for the ambient temperature, which is a good sign. Okay, so I've been asked to show this in a few more videos and basically show it doing the job that I'm doing, uh, resetting stuff, whatever else, uh, whatever else we can find really. So we'll use this tool on the video that I'm doing today. It is from Tinkar and the model is Tinkscan 689BT. I will put the video. Uh, link where you can buy it with a 10% discount in the video description okay so we're gonna do a search so we have a Renault traffic tree yep it will automatically just jump to the next screen there okay so we're gonna do automatic search press ok yes the model and we'll do a full health report Let's see what fault codes we have looks like we have three in the engine okay so we're done so we have 009564 air temperature sensor circuit implausible signal and thermal plunger as well canvas communication signal missing starter relay right we're gonna ignore all of these the starter is obviously working these are the ones we're gonna be looking at in the engine uh, first one we're gonna look at is that amb air temperature sensor sorry it's not ambient air is it? it's just air temperature right let's see what we can find for air temperature we, we have now got a search bar I do know some people were asking that question because the search bar wasn't there in in, uh, in the last video I done, but after an update, they have now added it. Uh, so that's the only air we can get, but um, I'm pretty sure that is part of the manifold pressure sensor. So we're gonna I'm gonna take that one, and I don't know if we have a what other sensors have we got? It will do the upstream pressure, which is common on these. What I'm gonna do is. For this, what I normally do is compare all of them, make sure that they're all given the same reading. And if we have an atmospheric, I don't think we have on these. No, it's it's just built into the manifold pressure sensor. So I think that's enough. Got those up. Now let's switch the engine off, ignition on. We put our, put that over to metric. Okay, so it is about one degrees, maybe two degrees. Inlet air temperature is reading 15.5, and the manifold pressure is reading 993. Well, it depends on the weather, I suppose, but yeah. We're a little bit low on that. It's lower than this one, so, and the degrees are reading a little bit higher as well, I think. So it's gonna be a bad manifold pressure sensor, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I've had to sort of get the Vauxhall system up because some of this, these things here I'm looking for couldn't find. We've got intake air temperature sensor 1 and intake air temperature sensor 2. So if we unplug the map sensor, let me just try and do that single-handedly if I can. Boost pressure there goes up to 1024. Now, if we unplug the airflow meter, it comes down to two degrees. Is that's the actual degrees that we have air now at the moment? It is two degrees. Plug that back in. Goes up to eleven point six. But why are we not getting a movement on this one? 
Okay, so I've swapped over the manifold pressure sensor. We have 994, 990. You see they're both sort of jumping around at the exact same pressure now. Uh, pressure upstream of the turbine, that's that steel sensor down there. We have a blockage on that pipe, we're going to need to clear out and we possibly might need a new sensor on it, but it's close enough, 988 to 990. Very close. I did do a little bit of a Google search and the current atmospheric pressure here is 998, something like that. So it is lower than I was expecting. So, uh, okay, so we're gonna go back and have a look at these sensors. Okay, I've had the van on a test drive and it's all okay. We can see that these two readings here now are matching. Uh, this upstream one is slowly coming down, but because we have a blockage there, we're going to do that on a separate um, repair. We're going to do that, and then, of course, the thermal plunger will also need replacing pretty soon. I'm pretty sure we've got a fault code back for that after the test drive, if I didn't clear it. Yep, there it is. That's this one, we can't get apart for this today. That'll be done on a separate repair. That was the old sensor there. There's a lot of gunk in it, which was probably the cause of why it wasn't reading right. So this is a manifold pressure sensor but it's got an, a temperature sensor that built into it. And that's it, see you on the next video. Once again.